Gaming Bolt presents top 15 gaming accessories under $100. There's a lot of accessories and peripherals in gaming, from controllers to headsets to thumb grips, but they can tend to be a bit too pricey. Thankfully, there are plenty of great products for those gamers with a budget. Here are the top 15 best gaming accessories under $100. Logitech G502 Proteus Core Mouse Price $62 Gaming mice can put you back over $100. Thankfully, the good folks at Logitech have created the G502 Proteus Core Mouse. While it still isn't cheap, at just under $100, it's an extremely high quality mouse for its price. With a multitude of configurable buttons and a hyper fast scroll wheel, it has everything gamers need and it won't break the bank. Steel Series Stratus XL iOS controller $90 to $100. When playing a game that has intricate controls on iOS or Android, control is regulated to a set of virtual sticks and buttons. While functional, they are not precise. The Steel Series Stratus brings console level accuracy to the mobile domain, essentially a console controller that can be linked to your portable device. It may not be great for bus ride commutes, but it can turn your iPad into a much more capable gaming machine. Microsoft Xbox One controller and cable for Windows, price $50. Easily the best controller Microsoft has ever created. It delivers smooth, responsive controls. While the wire may seem like a downside to some, it will mean a more stable experience, which is never a bad thing to a gamer. DualShock 4 Charging Stand Price $20 It's Friday night. You have a bunch of friends over to game, and you want to make sure all of your controllers are juiced up and ready. If you just have the PS4 charging cord, this may prove to be a bit of a task, but with the DualShock 4 charging stand, it's possible to make sure all of your controllers are battle ready. Xbox One PS4 Media Remotes Price $40 The newest generation of consoles aren't just game machines. They're media platforms used to play games, watch movies and TV, and even Skype. This is where the Xbox One and PS4 Media Remotes come in. These two devices are TV remotes for use with your console. While it may not seem like a big deal for those people who use their shiny new console as a Netflix box, it's sure to please. PlayStation Gold Wireless Stereo Headset Price $74 Amazon.com offer As a first party product, PlayStation players are the definitive focus with the main focus being Sony's trifecta of the PS4, PS3, and PS Vita, it's a good pick for PlayStation fans. With its sleek design and crisp sound, it stands as a very solid first-party entry in the crowded world of auditory gaming hardware. Turtle Beach Ear Force X01, price $80. Turtle Beach is known for having sound quality so good that you can hear the other players' footsteps as they trudge across the battlefield in Call of Duty. Despite the lower cost, the quality is still there. While not as astounding as higher tier models, it still offers plenty of bang for your buck. Wii U Pro Controller, price $55. Modeled after more traditional controllers, it is the best way to play some of the more action-oriented Wii U titles. Whether you're making a harpoon turn in Mario Kart or jumping through a Super Mario World level, this controller adds some more comfortable controls to Nintendo's current gen console. Trust GXT252 PS4 Snap-on Keyboard, price $40. Typing with a controller isn't the most graceful of acts. It can take an annoying amount of time and it's easy to mess up. The PS4 Snap-on keyboard puts a small keyboard right between the grips of the controller. Its low price tag and sturdy build make it a good buy for those who need to get their words out quickly so they can get back to playing. PlayStation TV Price $55 A small console that connects to the TV, the PS TV, can not only stream PS4 games but also has slots for both Vita games and memory cards. While not all Vita games are compatible with the system, there is a sizable list of games that can be updated to look great on your TV's larger screen. Amiibo, 
Price $15. But almost a year later, Amiibos are still flying off the shelves. While not your typical accessory, these figures can be tapped on the Wii U gamepad and 3DS screen to unlock fun new content in Nintendo games. While some of them are hard to obtain, it's fun to track down these elusive toys and build up a colorful collection. Thumb grips, price $5 to $20. Gaming can be intense. It can lead to wild thumb movements and even sweating. When we get entranced with a specific game, we tend to really dig into the analog sticks to the point that we slide right off. Thumb grips aren't a new innovation, but they only get better every year. And make sure that your thumbs stay put when you're in the middle of infiltrating an enemy base. They also come very cheap, ranging from $5 to $20 on average. PlayStation Camera, price $60. PlayStation's answer to the Kinect didn't seem to stand up to the competition at first, but it has proven to be a worthwhile addition to the console. The camera has a full suite of features including facial recognition for login, voice commands, streaming, and even social media. New 3DS Vertical Stand Price $20 The new Nintendo 3DS XL is the best version of Nintendo's 3D capable handheld to date, but it isn't the smallest of devices. The original system had a charging cradle that sat under the handheld, adding to the bulk. The newest iteration of this sees the 3DS sitting vertically, like an Oblelix. It's a little hard to find, but the convenience of simply sliding your system into the cradle is too good to pass over. Wii U GameCube Adapter, price 20 bucks. There is no denying that Super Smash Bros. is one of the Wii U's biggest games. But upon its announcement, there was outcry over the controls available. The GameCube controller has long been the preferred method of play in the pro scene, and Nintendo wanted to make sure that the series' millions of fans would be able to jump right back into the crazy fighter. The GameCube adapter plugs into both of the Wii U's front-facing USB slots and can fit up to four controllers. It's a great tool for any diehard Smash Bros fan, and its cheap price makes it an affordable addition to your gaming peripherals. What accessory do you plan to pick up? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like what we are doing, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Until next time, bros.